This is the slope instruction video. In this video, I will give an example of how to create a table of values for a given equation, as well as find the domain, range, rate of change, and initial values. At the end of the video, I will graph all of the points made in the table. First, draw a table similar to the function tables that we have been working with in class. The left-hand column is for your x values. The equation that you are given goes in the middle. The right-hand column is the y values. For our purposes, I've added a fourth column on the right-hand side, which is labeled points. Down the left-hand x value column, you list the 10 values that you have chosen to use. Remember, I told you that you have to use negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. You can choose any other number to fill in the remaining six places. For my example, I've chosen to use negative 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. To fill in the table, you start by plugging in the x value in the place of the x variable in the equation. For my example, I've chosen to use the equation y equals negative 3x plus 9. For the first part, I've changed the x variable with the x value negative 3. So negative 3 times negative 3 plus 9. When I type that problem into the calculator, it gives me the answer 18. Now, I take my x value, negative 3, and my y value, 18, and I write it in the final column labeled points. I label the x value first, negative 3, and then the y value, 18. For the second equation, I plug in the value negative 2, y equals negative 3 times negative 2 plus 9. I type that answer in the calculator and it gives me an answer of 15. I then write the answer and the x value in the points column. Negative 2, 15 is my point. For the third equation, I plug in the x value negative 1 and it becomes negative 3 times negative 1 plus 9. I type the entire equation into the calculator and get an answer of 12. I label my x value and y value in the points column for an answer of negative 1, 12. For the fourth equation, I plug in the x value 0, negative 3 times 0 plus 9. I type that in the calculator and get an answer of 9. I take the x value and the y value and write it into the points column, which is 0, 9. For the fifth row, I have an x value of 1. My equation is negative 3 times 1 plus 9. I type that in the calculator and get an answer of 6. I take my x value 1 and my y value 6 and make it a point which is 1, 6. In the fifth column, I write my equation with the x value of 2, negative 3 times 2 plus 9, and I get an answer of 3. I take the x value 2 and the y value 3 and write it in the points column as 2, 3. In the seventh row, I have an x value of 3, and so my equation is negative 3 times 3 plus 9. I type that in the calculator and get an answer of 0. I take my x value 3 and my y value 0 and put it into the points column. 3, 0. In the eighth row, I have an x value of 4. And my equation becomes negative 3 times 4 plus 9. I type that problem in the calculator and get an answer of negative 3. 
I take the x value 4 and the y value negative 3 and plug it into the points column 4, negative 3. In the ninth row, I have an x value of 5. I plug it into the equation negative 3 times 5 plus 9. I type that problem in the calculator and get an answer of negative 6. I take my x value 5 and my y value negative 6 and write it in the points column as 5, negative 6. In the last row, I have an x value of 6. I plug it into the equation negative 3 times 6 plus 9. I type that in the calculator and I get an answer of negative 9. I take my x value 6 and my y value negative 9 and put it into the points column in 6, negative 9. Now I'm going to tell you how to find the domain and the range values. Using our function table, our domain values are the same as the x values. So I would list all of the x values as the domain. Those x values are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The range values are the y values, the answers that we got when we solved the equation. You need to list all of the range values as your answer. Those are 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, 0, negative 3, negative 6, and negative 9. To find the rate of change, you need to look at the y value column. The word rate of change means how much the data is changing by. Looking at our y values, I can see that I am changing by negative 3 each time. 18 minus 3 gives me 15. That pattern continues as I do 15 minus 3 to give me 12. Again, 12 minus 3 gives me 9. 9 minus 3 gives me 6. 6 minus 3 gives me 3. And so on and so forth. I subtract 3 each time to get my next y value. Because we are changing by negative 3 each time, my rate of change is negative 3. To find the initial value, you need to look at where the data starts from. Data always starts at 0. So when the x value is 0, my answer is 9. And so my initial value is 9. For our final step, we are going to graph the points that we listed on the table of values. The first point we listed was negative 3, 18. So we're going to go over to the left, negative 3, and we go up to positive 18, and we place our point. The second point, negative 2, 15. So we go to the left, negative 2, and up to 15. Negative 1, and then up 12. 0, and up 9. Right 1, and up 6. The point 2, 3, I go over 2 and up to 3. For 3, 0, I go over 3 and stay at 0. For 4, negative 3, I go over to 4 and down to negative 3. 5, negative 6. And 6, negative 9. Your points should line up in a straight line. You can connect the points together. Draw your arrows to represent a straight line, and then you are finished.